Hello, folks. Tonight, I am going after the Monkey Head Nebula, and I don't know if I'm ever going to finish this object. The weather's bad, and I've only been able to collect a half hour on this night, a half hour on that night, and I'm running out of time. I keep saying that, but this time, I seriously am running out of time, and I think I've only got about two hours tonight to collect HA. Uh, the ADU, uh, the mean readout is... Uh, 550, that pretty much uh, is as low as it will go. That means it's really clear out there, but I think it's going to get cloudy pretty soon. Um, let's take a look at one raw image. And there's the monkey head. Um, it, it's, it's framed really well because you can't really see it in one raw image, but there is some data down here when I did stack some data temporarily just to see what it looks like. I, it, it comes in pretty strong with a single raw image. That, that's a pretty bright nebula. I'm surprised more people don't capture it. Well, actually, I do see a lot of people capturing it in Astrobin. But uh, anyway, this is the first time I've tried to capture it. And let's take a look at my guiding right now. 0.88. That's, that's, that's not too bad because when I was out there doing my pole master, I could feel some gusts of wind coming and going, so uh, I'll take 0.86. I, I look like my stars were round enough, so anyway, that's all I've got to share for now. I'm hoping I can finish this object at some point, because I really want to start doing galaxies. This this might be the last nebula I do for a while, so um, we'll have to see. I said that last time, I think, too. Well, Anyway, I'm rambling. I'll be back. Boy, it has been tough trying to get enough data on the monkey head, let me tell you. And, and uh, this thing is already at the meridian now by the time it gets dark. And I just cannot get enough clear skies at the beginning of the night to finish this. But I, so I'm going to make do with what I have so far. But before I, I do that, I, I want to show you a few things and uh, other things that I'm working on. And you know I'm working on M82, the Cigar Galaxy. And now I'm up to 18 hours of HA, and I've really got that starburst middle going. So I, I'm done with HA on this, and I've already captured 6 hours of CLS data. I haven't stacked that data yet, and I think I'm going to stick with just the 6 hours, and then I'll be ready to move on. Now I'm ready to move on to the RGB data, maybe one hour each of RGB, and I'm going to put it all together and see how that looks. So hopefully within the next week, I'll be able to capture that RGB data. So that's that. And I went back to my Rosette Nebula. I had already processed this with the Hubble palette, but a lot of people also like to do this one in HOO, HA in red, and oxygen in green and blue. So I gave it a shot too, and it turned out it seemed like it was even more popular than my Hubble palette version. And they, even Astrobin made this one a top pick. So that's that's always nice when you get a, a, a top pick because to me it's like a little bit of extra recognition on what you've done. So I don't mind seeing those little icons in the upper left. I'll, I'll take it. But uh, I kind of like it. I may do a metal print on this one as well. And for some reason it even came out less noisy than my Hubble palette version. Even though it has less data. This one doesn't have any sulfur. So that was interesting. And I also want to sh uh, give a shout out to my friend Doug. He is doing solar imaging now, and this is his first attempt at capturing the sun. And I can't even believe how good it came out. The first attempt? Are you kidding me? This is something I really want to get into now. So when I start, I'm, I'm probably going to have to show up on Doug's doorstep and say, how did you do that? I'll, I'll force him to give me some hints, you know? Although I I can't really force him. He's six foot four and he'd squash me like a tomato. But anyway, uh, great job, Doug. Um, that's an amazing first shot of the sun. And I'm sure we'll be seeing a lot more from you on that. So anyway, let's get back to my monkey head. Okay, so... I'm back on the monkey head now, and all I could do was HA and oxygen for now. I've got four hours of HA, three hours of oxygen, and I don't know if I'm going to have enough clear skies in the near future to finish um, sulfur. Uh, this object is already at the meridian, 
as soon as it gets dark now. And if I don't get some clear skies quick, I'm never going to be able to get to it. So, um, but anyway, let's just work with what I have. And um, I always say, well, I created multiple um, combines, and then I finally picked one I liked. So I'm going to go through that process and show you some of the things I do to try out different combines. So, um, at least for HOO. Well, there's not that many variations of what I do for HOO, but let, let's try a few anyway. Let's open up our SHO AIP script. This will be our first combine. And let, let, let's go with HA as luminance, HA in red, oxygen in green, and oxygen in blue. So uh, this, this script is really meant for the Hubble palette, but I use it for pretty much everything related to narrowband. So just imagine um, this first one, L for luminance, and the next one, uh, as South Sulfur, just assume this is red, green, and blue. You're, you're good to just remember that. Because we're not really doing the Hubble, we're, we're doing um, the HOO in this case, because I don't have any sulfur data. So let's just combine all this data and see what it looks like. All right, so this is our first attempt at a combine. It doesn't look too bad, but the oxygen doesn't look as strong in the middle here. So uh, let's see if we can improve that with another combine. Let's close this again. Let's start over. We'll save this one off. Now let's try it again. And this time, instead of using um, HA as luminance, we're going to create a new luminance master. So we're going to click on Mixing Luminance. We're going to select HA, Oxygen here. We're going to leave HA at 100%, but uh, let's make oxygen 80% there. Um, I saw somebody else use these percentages, and uh, I'm going to try it too. Then we'll say uh, uh, we're going to create L with master 1 and 2 because we don't have sulfur. If you did, you could use this second button here, 1, 2, and 3. And we're going to set this to screen, and let's create our new master, our new luminance master. Okay, so this is our new luminance master. And let's see what our combine looks like when we use this as the master as, as well. So um, let's put this underneath our other two here. Let's go here. All right, so this is the new master we just created. We have a new luminance. We'll put HA in that one and oxygen and oxygen there. Let's see what this one looks like. Okay, so this is our second combine. Let's see how this one looks to the previous one. A little bit different. I think using that new luminance brought out a little more of the oxygen in the middle. But let's see if we can improve that even more. Okay, now let's do one more combine. And but before we do the combine, let's actually make oxygen itself a little more stronger and see what happens there. So let's create a mask. We'll just protect the background. Something like that. Smooth it out a little. All right, like that. And let's take a look at our mask here. Okay, we don't want to protect the nebul the nebulosity. We want to we, we want to update the nebulosity. Let's invert the mask. Now, really, um, if if you're playing with the nebulosity, you 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 could create a star mask and protect your stars so you don't blow it out your stars when you in increase the brightness on it. But this is a quick mask. Let's see if we can get away with it without hurting the stars too much. So, yes, we'll just make it. A little bit, but ooh, just just like that. All right, so this is our oxygen data now. That's how it looked before. This is how it looks now. Now let's do a combine with our stronger oxygen and see what that one looks like. Okay, we'll put our new luminance in there again, HA, 
oxygen and oxygen, and let's let this sucker run. All right, well, this is our third combine, and let's take a look at how all three of them look now. There's that one, that one, and that one. Which one do you think is the, the one you'd want to work with? This is good. I think the second one is a little better. And I think the third one, the last one we created with the new luminance and with the stronger Oxygen Master, I think the last one is probably the one I'd want to work with because we got, we got a little more oxygen showing up there, a little more white and a little more... Um, well, the outer edge looks the same, but at least it's different than the inner. So I like that one. So that's what I would do. Now, uh, maybe you have your own ways of combining data, but I'm just showing you the stuff I go through to create a combine and trying different, different versions of the combine. And let me show you what my final image looks like. After I processed all the data. And I went from this master to my final image being that. Of course, um, now I didn't actually, sometimes in um, Photoshop, I used selective color to change this color to that color. I didn't do any of that. All I did was increase the, the vibrance and the saturation a little bit, but it's still the exact same colors I've used here. So that's what I, I come up with. And I hope you found this useful. Uh, yeah, that's what I did, and some people, they ask me, well, Chuck, why don't you just show everything from start to finish? And I always think, well, you know, we don't want all to become robots, all of us doing the exact same thing. I have to leave some stuff to your imagination so you, you can put your, your own, you know, mark on your stuff. And, and so I'll probably never do a start to finish on everything because, yeah, we don't want all our stuff looking the same, right? Everyone's got to be, you know, venture off and do your own thing. And let's see what everyone else comes up with, you know, not just not just my stuff. There's lots of great stuff out there and lots of other examples. You can do probably better examples than mine. But still, I hope you found this useful and I will see you later.